English, I found this um, hair cuffs that I bought a few years ago, and I just thought I would I would start a video with uh, with this. We were talking about five books, last one that you can read during Christmas holidays or during Christmas time. Um, in my opinion, it's not a top five or six. Um, it's just uh, a list of suggestions for for you if you like reading. So I would say just the first that I don't have uh, that I don't have here. I don't know why. Um, it's Oliver Twist. I think reading Dickens at Christmas time it can only be a good choice to make for kids and not for kids because there are some pretty great books for kids and some others are for are more for adults. It writes about all of these themes, all of these topics that Christmas just become more real and uh, people are sensitive to it because he talks about uh, um, poor guys and um, like uh, uh, these people, these poor people, pe workers uh, and um, you know children who in order to leave have to uh, rob people, have to become thieves uh, and just like some really great like uh, topics and it shows us the reality of uh, of life so i really like him for for this and oliver twist is one of my um it's one of my suggestions because you know it can be read by children and by adults so i think it's just really really good choice it's not a really big book it's a small one so you have time to do so then Another one that I don't have uh, here it's Letters to uh, Father Christmas, which is by one of my favorite authors of all time, which is uh, Tolkien. So Tolkien wrote some letters uh, during Christmas time um, to his family, and which he was very attached to, and he decided to put them in a book. To me, whatever he um, write whatever you wrote it's something great so i would suggest you to read um tolkien during <laughs> every time of the year but uh, on christmas time you know there are these letters so this is my suggestion for for christmas then let's start with let's start with the book that i actually have here with me um, the first one is this one, of course, you will see I have the um, Italian uh, um, uh, version of the books, of course. This is um, Tree Grows in uh, Brooklyn. Um, this is actually uh, a part of, uh, um, of a series. So this book was written by Betty Smith and it, it is said to be one of the greatest books uh, um, of all of all time. It is uh, uh, settled uh, in the first two decades of the 20th century, and it tells the story um, about this family of this family, the Nolans, and um, uh, you know they have a lot of issues. Uh, the father is. Uh, um, um, is a drunk. There is this little girl, uh, Frenchie, who is uh, 11 years old and has to see his family like uh, uh, grow and fight. And she has this weird and strange and complicated relation, complicated relationship with uh, her father. So you can see all the like um, growing. Uh, you can see the uh, way she grows during these years and I don't want to spoil her anything so I won't say I won't say much more but this is a really great book and again I don't know why but just Christmas time seems to me a great time to me because this book it's um it's a really winter book I would say 
Um, first of all, it's not really a small one. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty big, and um, um, you can read it. You know, you can have your, you can take your time to read it during winter. And there is this situation of poor people again, like in Oliver Twist. So I think it's really, it's really nice uh, to read it around this this time. Then I have Memory of a Geisha, written by Arthur Golden. Um, I don't know why I would suggest you to read these during um, like Christmas time. Maybe because you have time, you know. Um, it's not like a summer that you just want to read something chilly and something um, like uh, not really complicated. This is a great, a great, great book. Uh, not just because of the story, but this story shows you more about this world of a geisha that you don't, can, you cannot even like imagine you see them on TV or on pictures online and you think, oh my god, they are so pretty. But you know, there is a lot of work behind that figure and that look and they have a really complicated, again, um, they have really complicated stories, um, so I think I think it's very it's very um, interesting to to know more about uh, about this world. Then of course we have uh, a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens again. Of course Christmas Carol. I think everyone should read it in uh, uh, during during Christmas. Then uh, I mean. It's it's useless to read it another another time of um, of of the year. This has everything uh, that evolves around Christmas. There are ghosts. There are uh, children. There is a, a Christmas meal. Um, there is the bad guy. Um, um, you know. Uh, again, I don't want to say I don't want to say much because I said. I already said a lot in my in the video in which I tell you which one is my favorite um, Christmas cartoon. But um, you know Scrooge, uh, who is uh, um, who thinks only about uh, like uh, um, himself and money, actually becomes a really really hearted man. So I think this is this can only be read at, at Christmas time. I have a plus. My plus is my favorite book of, book of all time. I read this uh, every year when I can. And it's not really like a big classic or amazing book or whatever you wanna, you wanna call those kind of books. And it's The Little Prince. Everyone should read The Little Prince. I don't know which child didn't. And if your child didn't, you have to make them read a little print. Um, this is the story of this little prince and how he sees the world and how he f falls on our world and he comes from a totally a, a totally different world. Um, I think, you know, it's always time to read the, the little prince. Um, I don't know what to say, what to say more, but um, it's um, it's a really great book. I think it changes you in so many ways when you are a child, but also when you're older and you read it and you understand more things. So my suggestion is not only to read this book, but if you have someone, if you know someone that needs to find the child, the child inside them, just give them this book. Because it's always a good idea to gift a book if you don't know what to give to someone. And The Little Prince is something that can really just make your... You know, it can at the same time make you reflect a lot and think a lot about life. But at the same time, it's just, you know, you return a child for like 100, 200, how many pages, a little bit more than 100 pages. Um, in my version, there are some um, some pictures. So if you want to read to your child or to your children, 
uh, it's really it's really great it's really great too and uh, you know there are some great characters there is the fox and there is the rose of course the little prince and the, um, the snake guys just read this <laughs> so so I hope you like this um since my since my uh, reading is one of my passions I want to bring on his channel a little bit more uh, of uh, what I like so a little a little bit more um, of the books that I that I like of course and uh, these five six books are some of my favorites that I would suggest you to read during Christmas time so let me know in the comments if you read some of these uh, books, th books that I mentioned and tell me if you have some other suggestions to, um, about some books to read during a Christmas time that I, that I, haven't, that I haven't put in this list and um, see you tomorrow!